G'day YouTube, down to Bricks here. Thought I'd share with you my investment sealed set collection. When I first started my channel in the first couple of months, I posted a video showing my own personal sealed set collection. And it's not that I actually collect sealed sets, it's just sets that I've purchased that I've always wanted to build and I've just never sort of really got round to building them. A lot of them are for mocks I want to do, like some of the Lord of the Rings stuff, a lot of the castle stuff. It's just put away, so when I'm ready to build those mocks, I've got it there at the ready. So I'll put a card up on the screen there linking to that video because it's, it's one of my most viewed videos. So if you haven't seen that, you might want to check it out. It's, uh, it's a, a lot bigger than this collection, actually pretty much fills this room. So you might want to go and check that out. But yeah, this is my collection of investment sets. So the reason I wanted to show this video now is I've actually started to sell some of these sets off. And before I sold too many, I thought it would be a good idea to get this video done. So what's my strategy for investing and when do I sell and that sort of stuff? Well, it's pretty simple really. Um, normally I just go for bigger sets, put the big sets away. Uh, they, they tend to be the ones that uh, go up in value quite a bit. I have got some smaller sets here. Uh, they're just basically ones I picked up heavily discounted. Um, the other thing I look at is themes that they mightn't be the biggest sets, but it might be a theme that I think is going to be popular once it retires, you know, in, in two or three years' time. So things like uh, Lord of the Rings or Monster Fighters, um, I look at that sort of thing as well. Of course, Star Wars is always popular, so normally, again, I stick with the bigger sets, but I have got some smaller ones here, so we'll have a look at those. And I normally hang on to them for around two years or so before I sell them. That seems to be a pretty good point to when they, they've sort of gone up a fair bit in value. But the main thing that drives me to sell the sets is basically once my Lego account takes a pretty severe hit. And 2015 was a really big year for great Lego sets. So I did have to sell a few off just to help out the bank account a little bit. So I had two Imperial shuttles that I sold. So I've still got two here. So I had four in total. I've sold two of those off. I sold a Superstar Destroyer and I sold a Monster Fighters set. But I'll get the camera off the tripod now and we'll go in for a little closer look and see exactly what I've got. Okay, so we'll start off down here with some of my recent additions to this collection with the Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine. Now, I don't really know how these will do as investment. It's um, It really was just to punt these ones. I did hear that they, in some places, uh, they were a little bit hard to get. Now, I paid pretty much full price. I think I paid about 10% um, less than retail price. So it was no great deal, but I just thought I'd pick a, pick a few of these up and just see how that goes. I've got the uh, castle set here. Now, I actually can't think when this theme was from, but uh, 2014, I'm thinking. So put that away. Again, I have... A couple of these sets put away for myself for when I get to my castle mocks. And it's a case of is that when I get to build those mocks, either I may look at look at these sets, especially these Lord of the Rings sets. I may look at them and think, well, I really need those minifigs or I really need those pieces. And I may end up just using them for myself. Or the other option is, is of course, to sell them to help fund those mocks as well. So got this castle set. Got the Tower of All Thanks, so that is one awesome set. So um, I haven't checked that at all lately, but I think that's going to be one that's uh, going to go up quite a bit in value. And of course, all the Lord of the Rings. If you've seen my own personal sealed set collection, I think I've got about five Helms Deep, and that's because I've always wanted to do a Helms Deep mock. So again, I may use some of these, but more likely I will sell them to fund that build. Uh, more likely I'd probably open these Urukai army sets just to get some more minifigs. So I've got four of those. There's four. Uh, 
oops, there's, uh, there's four helms deep, I've got two mines of Moria, and I've got an unexpected gathering. Now, I do have this set. Um, I'm thinking maybe of making mine bigger when I do get to build it, so I've got this one as backup in case I do. But again, this was a fairly popular set when it was out, so I think that one will go up in value as well. Okay, on to Star Wars. So I've got three Jabba's Palace and three Rancor Pits. Um, my thinking here is probably selling those as a pair um, because they do go together. Now that Jabba's Palace, I mean both of these sets, the Rancor set really complements the Jabba's Palace, but I was a big fan of the Jabba's Palace set. So um, my thinking is if I'm a fan of it, there's going to be a lot of other people that are fans as well that uh, come into collecting Lego down the track. So I think that one is going to be another popular set. The Palpatine's Arrest. I actually got that as a free set. I bought the Death Star. So I'll just go down here. So I've got the Death Star 1. So I actually purchased that from Toys R Us in the US. So of course I'm in Australia here. So I bought that out of the States when our dollar was pretty good. And they were doing a promotion where they gave away a Palpatine's Arrest with that set. So I've already got the Palpatine's Arrest. So I've just put that with my investment sets. I really don't know how that one would go as an investment. But it's got a lot of Jedi in it. So it's probably going to be pretty popular and here I have the sand crawler now this is another recent purchase so basically as I said I sold some sets recently and what I do is with the original money that I spent on those sets I use that to reinvest so I'm actually putting some sets back into to my collection so the profit I make goes into buying more Lego for myself but the original purchase amount buys some other set. So when I sold those four sets recently, I bought the Sand Crawler and I bought the Shield Helicarrier as well. So I've got a couple of newer sets there. Of course, with the Death Star, that is currently still available, but uh, it's been rumored to retire for like 12, 18 months now. So it's bound to happen sooner or later. Of course, they are talking about a new Death Star for 2016, which would definitely mean a retirement for the old one. So that's, uh, that's when that one should go up in cost a little bit. It's been around for so long. So many people would have that set. So many people have probably put it away for investment as well. So it may not be the best investment, but it's, um, it's really just a matter of waiting and seeing. Again, in two years' time, we'll see how that one goes. And up here, I got the B-Wing. I picked that one up at half price, so that was a, a good buy. I've got a couple of the Red 5 uh, X-Wings. So I actually picked this one up really cheap. You can see, you can see what the retail is for us here. Uh, actually, that retail, I think it might actually retail for more than 248 That was Big W's price but they marked it down to 130 bucks, so um, that was, I just had to pick that up. It was too good a price to turn away from. The the other one, I think I paid about 200 bucks for that, um, 200 or 205, something like that. So again, that's one that is, I think it's still available at the moment, but uh, it's probably not going to be too long before that one retires as well. And the Imperial Shuttle. Now, as I said, I sold two of these. These have been really good for me for investment from what I paid and the return I got on those. So I'm probably actually thinking of selling another one of these shortly just to uh, help the Lego funds a little bit. There's the Shield Hel Helicarrier that I talked about. I've got the Arkham Asylum. Now, I've actually got two Arkham Asylums that I've put together and I've again I've got a video on that if you want to check that out I may even stick that one up in the cards as well so this one will definitely 
be kept for investment. And a couple of little superhero sets and I mean I'm not going to make much on these but I bought them really really cheap so I've just chucked them in with the investments and I'll stick them up on eBay or something and see what I can get for them. So the Turtle Lair Attack. Again, I'm not sure if this is going to be a real good investment. I got this one really cheap from Big W. They marked it down to, I think it was something like $17 or something, which is just uh, pretty crazy. So again, it doesn't have to be a real good investment when you're only paying that sort of price for it. I should still make something on that one. The Bat Cave. Now, I actually bought, when the Bat Cave came out, I've actually got the 2006 one, and I wasn't too impressed with this Bat Cave. What I did actually do, I did see it on Bricklink really cheap just for the pieces without the minifig. So I bought that and just made my 2006 Bat Cave a little bigger. But, um, but I don't have these minifigs, and I always look at that Bane minifig, and uh, I may be tempted to part that one out. But again, I will have a look at the price it's going for and see if it's worth it, or I might just try and pick up that minifig. Now I've got the Town Hall, so again this is a set that I may end up using for myself. Again I have made a custom Town Hall for my city, so I don't know, I probably will sell it. I've seen some great videos out there. We've got um, Chad's Brick Hobby and Haley Bricks. They've got a couple of really great builds of the town hall so I may use that as pieces just to change mine up a little bit again but uh, again I may just sell it and use those funds to buy the parts off Bricklink. I've got the old police station I think this might be 2013. I've already got this set and the more recent I'm trying to think if this is the older one or the newer one now I'm I'm not really into the police stations, so the idea here, I have got two police stations already that I've thought about at some stage making a modular out of for our city, and I may use the pieces for this one. I'm not sure how the resale goes on these older police stations because Lego re-release police stations all the time, so the resale on these older ones may not be too good, but not too sure about that. The Horizon Express, awesome, awesome train this one. It's actually pretty readily available this set. I don't think it's gone up too much in prices yet. But again, I'm just going to sit on this one for uh, for a couple more years, another sort of year or two. And by then it may go up in value by quite a bit. And the Maersk train. Now this was the set I was talking about was in my personal collection. I've already got the Maersk train. The idea was to put two of them back to back in our city. I did buy the other industrial train from 2014 and uh, I think it was 2014, the blue one. And I, I like that train and I've put that with the Maersk in our city and I'm pretty happy with what we've got. Uh, so I pretty much decided that I will sell this one. So I took that out of my personal collection. But I'm not going to be in a hurry to sell it, just in case I change my mind again. <laughs> and that takes us right to the end here with some Monster Fighter sets. Now I've got four of these. And again, I really just bought these because, uh, again, they're on sale at Big W. They were a pretty good price. And I kept hearing out of the States about how hard this set was to purchase in the States. Uh... I do believe it was exclusive to Target. Uh, I think um, Jeremy at Port City Bricks let me know that. So it was exclusive to Target. So it was a little bit harder to get for you guys in the States. Whereas here in Australia, it was pretty readily available. So I did pick it up. And the Monster Fighters theme is such a great theme. It's really a theme that deserves a comeback. So come on, Lego. Do us a favor. Bring back Monster Fighters. But... Again, it was because of that popularity of the theme and this set that I just picked up four of these for resale and I have sold one of these just very recently.
Well, that's a whole lot, guys. To be honest, I was never really intending to share this with you guys because some people have some funny ideas that it's not the right thing to do to to buy a Lego and sit on for resale, but you guys know how much Lego that I buy. So I don't think it's doing anyone too much harm by sitting on some Lego for a couple of years to resell just to keep my Lego addiction rolling along. I'd just like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel for more Lego. I've got plenty on the way. And I'd love to hear from you guys, so bang all your comments down below and we'll have a little chat. But for now, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.